Alrighty guys, welcome back to Fern Feather Outdoors. Today, we're gonna to be doing some flocking. Here's a couple of things I experimented on while doing some flocking. Here's a goose I did. Um, that's just one coat. I'll have to do another one with that one. And here's a black duck I did. <clears throat> and you can see the difference. Uh, they look really good. Um, I've been really pleased with everything. So, this one's pretty much done. Um, the only thing I'm waiting on this one is the <clears throat> head. I'm not sure if I'm going to flock it or not yet. Um, I may just end up painting it. I'm not really sure. I would like to flock it if I could. But, uh, my white and cream and brown flocking is still sh shipping so that may be a later video but um i may also just wait and throw it in here so stick around and see guys so this is what i use for it seems to work pretty well is the gloss black rust-oleum and you want it to be oil based because the oil base won't dry as quick which is a good and a bad thing bad thing it takes a long time to dry I think it says 24 hours, which is what I do. I leave it overnight and everything. And uh, all I do is just paint it up and go straight to the flocking. And it seems to do really well. Uh, you just got to make sure you let it dry good. Because if you don't, it seems to. Uh, I mess with it a little bit. I'm gonna get my paintbrush cleaned up here and then we'll go ahead and start painting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the paint out. We're gonna be painting this black duck decoy today. And I showed you all the finished product to the other one besides the head and the beak. Um, not done with that yet, but we're gonna go ahead and do this guy. Get him painted up and uh, once we Get it painted. We'll uh, go ahead and do the first coat of flocking. All right, guys. We got my paintbrush cleaned up, and uh, I just like to put a good coating of paint on the brush after the paint thinner's been on it and everything. That way, it kind of overpowers the paint thinner. to use pretty heavy coats on this um, when I'm first starting because you'll have a lot of little ridges and everything with the plastic and uh, you want to make sure to get every hole and every little gap filled in and I like to have a real bright light to look at it because it helps you see all the everything you missed because you will miss some as you go that's why I like to go thick because it goes ahead and fills up the holes real well. And then you can kind of just brush the excess away. So we got it all painted up here. I just wanted to show you. It looks really well painted, but if you look close, here's a spot on these... Uh, curls I missed and you can see where it's not shiny and also like right here in this feather indention you can see it's not shiny that's why a bright light a little LED light helps so you can see it uh, seems to pick it up real good I just like to take a thick coat and get in there real good wipe it away and then go on to the next spot you see You ain't gotta be in a real big hurry with this stuff. Um, it stays pretty wet for a long time, so. I mean, I had that uh, other one drying for a while, and the bottom where it was stuck to that cardboard actually uh, 
it's still wet. So if there's some flocking on it, that seemed to help. I'm just pouring the flocking into this little sifter. And uh, I would definitely recommend wearing a face mask of some sort. Because the stuff will get in your nose. This small sifter. Uh, you can hand crank it, but I just shake it in there. And we got our duck here. We're just going to shake it like so. So you don't see any more shininess. See, it's already taking that shine away. We'll just do that over the whole duck. see some shiny spots again and you can hit them again and shake it back off and when you get done just tap on it Go guys. There is your first coat of flocking. And if you do have some shiny spots that just won't go away, you're gonna be doing a second coat anyway, so it should cover it up really well. But you can see there how much better that decoy looks already. Hopefully we'll be killing some ducks over these. So and also another thing is you can reuse every bit of that flocking. Just uh be careful with it. Don't try not to spill too much of it. Alrighty guys, so the other day we showed you how we flocked this decoy here. And I went ahead and tested out some flocking for the head. Um, I got my colors in. I just had black and I ordered some white and like a cream color. Um, and I can show you the difference here. This is the second coat. You can't see as many of the uh, ridges and stuff on it. It's just a little thicker and hopefully it'll last longer. And uh, like this, you can still see some little lines and stuff in it. So we're going to give this one another coat of uh, black flocking. But I just wanted to test this out here. It doesn't look bad. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, finish up this middle section here with some flocking. And then um, I'm gonna make a template so I can take my air or my spray gun and uh, kind of put some black feathery looking in it so it's not as bright. I think that'll look good. Here's the um, colors I'm gonna do for the head. This is pretty much, I just had a small cup about this size and I filled it up um, about one and a half with black and then about one with uh, 
one full cup of just white. So it's kind of still dark, but a little lighter. I'm going to use that for the middle. Right here. Alrighty guys, so here's pretty much the finished product. Um, I went ahead and did the heads. And uh, got the bills the right color that I wanted. More of a greenish yellow instead of just a bright yellow like y'all seen in the beginning. The only thing I got left to do is put another coat on the head. Um, finish painting the eyeballs which is pretty straightforward but y'all see me do the body same way with the head just try to kind of color match the undercoat with that you're using as far as paint or whatever take an airbrush and uh, paint a little blue here's the other ones I got they're not as finished as that one is, but they still need a full coat all around of flocking. This one ain't got the head fully finished or the beak. Or actually, that beak's done. This one ain't got the beak done yet. So, still got a little bit to do on these, but I'll have a good group of black ducks. Here is the finished product, guys. We got a Drake black duck over here. Did a little airbrush work with the uh, colors and the feathers. And then this is supposed to be a hen. If you like this video guys make sure to like and subscribe and uh, make sure to check out all my other videos reviews and hunting videos and uh, we'll try to get as many as we can out to you guys more likes and everything y'all give me and uh, everything helps so we'll see you on the next one